What's up, notary people? It's your boy Rob, back with another, another video for you guys. So this is gonna be a short video, just detailing why you should not be a mobile notary, or some things that might prevent you from becoming a mobile notary public. Uh, you should also check out my other videos where I detail why you shouldn't be a notary signing agent or a notary public, because they really, they all kind of tie in together. But I don't want to repeat myself again with that same information. <laughs> A mobile notary public is a notary public that travels to the client to notarize their documents. So if you don't have reliable transportation, you can't do this job. <laughs> Piece of shit uh, you really, really need your own vehicle. I would suggest something that's good on gas so it don't cut into your profits. Something reliable. You know, I really don't know if you could use like the bus or train to do this. I mean, maybe you can in larger cities. I can't speak on that. I'm here in Texas. I'm 40 miles from anywhere. I'm a geographical oddity. I hate this place, a uh, geographical oddity. Two weeks from everywhere. Another thing is if you can't work a GPS, you really can't do this job. You know, I, I doubt you're going to want to use a map to travel to people's strangers' houses. <laughs> I think that would be pretty difficult and time consuming. Beyond that though, I like being a mobile notary myself. You know, when I started out, I was making more being a mobile notary than my other notary ventures that I had going on at the time. If you're interested in being a mobile notary, I have an upcoming video on how to market yourself as a mobile notary, and uh, there'll be some other useful info in there. So if you're interested in notary videos, please like, subscribe, hit that bell, share my videos for me. Appreciate that. As always, be sure to level up.